Hey everybody, it is that time once again for the poem of the day, or should I say poem of the evening. It is 7.26 p.m. March the 31st, 2014 Pacific Standard Time here in sunny San Diego, California. So let's get down with the saying. Welcome one, welcome all to Helen's Poetic Cafe Lounge. Come on in, sit back, and let your conscience run free, and let your mind be blown to beautiful words of poetry. Now you might want to take the time before I get started, to sit on down, take your shoes off, shake your shoulders off, get on something um, that's nice and comfy, get you a nice glass of wine or a cup of tea or coffee, whatever it takes for you just to relax and go on this journey with me as I recite this poem. And the title of the poem that I wrote is Someone to Love. And the music that I'm going to do, it, be using is by Lenny Williams because I love you in instrumental form. So without further ado, let's get started with the poem Someone to Love You by me, Helen Burnett Davis. Enjoy. Here we go. Listen, someone to love you, someone to love you, what a joy it is to have someone to love, what a joy to love someone who loves you, someone to love you, what a wonderful feeling to embark on, a joy to accept, what a joy to give, love puts smiles on the face when your days are down, the sun is not shining, and your mind and heart is at a standstill. Love is patient and kind. Having someone to love you in every aspect of life, father-mother love, children-parent love, best friend love, family love, love of humanity, and first and foremost, love for God and His Son, Jesus Christ. When there is someone to love you, and it is real, true, heartfelt love, just when that person says those four little words, I love you, sadness turns to happiness, pain turns to joy, your heart feels so good and warm inside, everything makes that love worth waiting for, fighting for, going out of your way to show people you love, because we are all admonished to love. So have love in your heart and, and have the mindset to know when love is real and when it's not. Even when at times it may feel like the love is not reciprocated, everything you go through will always be a positive outcome because you know that person deep down knows you love them and you are willing to go through the lows of the lows and the trench in the trenches. The heart of it all is that you always come back full circle when deep-rooted love is involved. Loving someone can make the angels sing the birds fly in a manner of majestic majesty. Having someone to love you makes love worth living for. It brings families together. It brings couples to live in happy matrimonial bliss. Love gets you through the hard times. Love gives you someone to love, someone to touch. Love gives you someone to hold. Some people think that they once had love and it's over. But you will love again because manhole makeup is about love. When you truly love someone and you introduce love in their life again, you give them the reason to love again. Love makes you swallow your pride and make you want to love again, feel again, be whole again. The Almighty Father above is the creator and the author of love. So the love is a good thing because the Alpha and the Omega invented it. And if his son can love unconditionally, let's all give it a try. Love will truly set you free. Bring others in your life that you would never know how to love and can truly be when you accept it without any boundaries or stipulations. Love is kind. Love helps you to walk by faith and not by sight. Love makes you ache in your stomach when you care so deeply for someone. All you care about is making sure that person is okay and their well-being is intact. Love can be such a comfort. Love can open doors to ones that were closed before. Love brings positive things and dreams in your life. Love cannot be wrong when you use it in the right way, in the way love it was intended for. You cannot go wrong when you love in all the proper ways love can be ascertained with these four. 
storage, affection, philia, friendship, eros, romance, and agape, unconditional love. These four types of love, if used in its proper setting, love is out there to anyone who wants to love. Freely, openly, show love always, show affection when you love in every aspect of life in its proper setting because husband and wife love, family love, friend love, with great love and friendships, they can last years with God's umbrella always present. Having love for your mate, you love them in a romantic way as a woman always being the weaker vessel as this mate loves her like he loves himself. Follow the footsteps Christ has as his head and this respective roles will always stay intact. Now agape love to me is one of the most important, that is a love that brings forth caring regardless of the circumstances. This is Christian love, or just love period, because all we should all love and be living in a way that God intended us to live. We're not perfect, but we all should go through the guidelines that God has us to follow. And to sum it all up, it's just with those four letters in that word called love. So yes, there is someone to love. It always been, and it starts with oneself. And only then you can find someone to love and someone to love you. Because remember, never use those four words if you don't mean it. Because then you will be on the line teetering towards a thin line between love and hate. So never use those words you don't if you don't mean them. Someone to love by Helen Burnett Davis. And I thank you all for coming to my channel and always supporting me on a regular basis. I would like to thank my husband John for always loving me and encouraging me to start doing this poetry on this YouTube in the first place. And I'd like to give thanks to my little sister Lulu. Her channel is Beauty is So Thick. If you don't know her, check her out. The family loves you. Take care. And also to my beautiful YT sisters, thank you for your support as well. I love you all and God bless. Thank you. And good night. And also before I close, I would like to say thank you to my wonderful little nephew. I love you. You're a sweet young man. And you are, you are a beautiful, beautiful son to your mom, Lulu. And the family down here love you as well, son. Continue to do what you do. And also, I love my girls. Keep up the good work. And thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by to Helen's Poetic Cafe Lounge. You guys, before I um, end this poem, I would like to give thanks to um, my um, beautiful daughters. And um, my, excuse me, I would like to give thanks to my beautiful daughters, John and Taylor, my nephew, um, Davion. Thank you for being the beautiful children that you guys are. And you guys don't give um, me and your dad any problems. You don't give your mom any problems. And you guys are great kids. And um, I love you, all three of you, very much. And like I said, if you don't know, Lulu, her channel was Beauty is So Thick. Go check her out. Uh, you will have a ball over there. Her channel is Beauty is So Thick. Lulu, the love diva. Check her out. And um, thank you. That's all I like to say. Thank you all for supporting my channel. And once again, I'll be coming back for more poetry. So stay tuned. Good night.